everybody, I am going to show you a real simple butterfly and we're going to do this with a few different colors layering on top of each other just to get different coloring effects. Um, I'm using right now a bright a red or orange color, it's poppy. Um, I really like this one but it is heat sensitive so you got to be really easy and make sure that you don't um, put it in too much heat or keep it in the heat for too long because it does have a tendency to boil. White, I actually really like this white. It's from Devardi, which I generally don't use their glass much, but I thought I would um, try out some new colors. Um, this one's a striking white. It's definitely different than some of the other whites I've used before, um, but I really like this one because it doesn't um, it, it doesn't really boil easily. At least um, I can really blast it with a good amount of heat without having to worry about it boiling. out it might go to almost a translucent color. I'm making it a little bit thicker to make sure that doesn't happen but the white will make sure that if it does thin out a little bit that you're still going to get a pretty bright color underneath. I'm just kind of squishing everything in um, since it is a heat sensitive color you want to kind of use your tools to, to melt it in place rather than um, just gravity because that's going to kind of get everything going a little bit quicker so you don't have to have that color in the flame for too much longer. So now that I have everything kind of melted in, I'm just going through and um, I'm grabbing a, I believe this is a purple luster. Um, this is a semi-transparent uh, striker color, striking color. And I really like it because you can put it on super thin and still get a lot of the same like, striking results from it. You don't have to use it real thick. So with this, I'm just going to go all the way around just like I did with my poppy and completely case, encase everything underneath there. melted in, just kind of fine tuning a few things, again just kind of squishing things together, uh, making sure that everything is going to be melted in completely. And this one as you can see, you can blast it with some pretty good heat now that we have um, that layer on top of the purple luster, it's going to protect the poppy underneath. Now I'm just going to take my tweezer mashers. And we're going to use this to smush just the front. Um, we're using this little uh, section of color. It's going to be used for both wings. So you only want to use half of that. You want to go ahead and make it nice and thin. Um, the thinness is going to make sure that everything, as far as the colors, kind of blend in together. And you're going to start to see the, the different effects that they have um, all layered on top of each other. So now with this flattened to how I want it, I'm taking my shears and I'm just going to cut right in the very middle there. This is going to be um, this kind of center point. Uh, one's going to be the top wing, one's going to be the bottom. And with this when I cut it, you saw I kind of jiggled it up and down. This just kind of separates it into that V so it doesn't get melted back together when you put it back into the flame. going through the, the small part on the bottom that's going to be the rounded wing. Um, that one with the heat it was starting to thicken up a little bit so I just went back in and uh, flattened it a little bit. Now you can see I'm working on the top now. Um, pulled out the, the top wing just a little bit to create that kind of peak and then going back and smashing it down making sure it's nice and thin. Just using this little spatula and I love this little thing it came with a dental kit that I found um, it has a pick and a few other things but that little spatula is really handy I'm 
until I really want it nice and thin. So now I'm grabbing just another, it's a silver stripe, and I'm just going to put a couple little details. Um, with it also being a strike color, it's going to go through and create a couple different colors and a couple different effects um, when everything's finished. So I'm just putting a few dots here and there um, just to kind of give it a little bit of interest. And the dots that I placed up on the top of the wing, I'm just going through and kind of dragging them towards the center and just to kind of create um, a little bit of a design on the wing like you'd see on any other butterfly. Everything is now melting in. Um, I had taken it out of the flame just to kind of take a look at um, some of the, the different reactions and the, the way that it's striking so far. Went ahead and adjusted one of the little dots there. Just smashing it all back in and melting it in again. everything up nice and even. This will make sure that everything is melted in properly. And what I'm doing now is everything's pretty much finished on this wing. So I am lightly heating it. You want to heat it right where the inside um, of that kind of flattened wing is going to meet that, um, that other bit of color. I'm just speeding everything up here. Um, it's basically the same exact thing. We're just doing it opposite. So you want to make sure that you are paying attention to the wing. Um, I've done it several times where I work on two wings and I'm not paying attention and I end up making two right wings or two left wings. So you want to be really careful there. thing you want to make everything um, pretty even on both sides you want to make it as close to a mirrored effect as possible um, I know I was rushing through this uh, a bit and so things may not be exactly how I'd like them but let's give you an idea at least of how to put this real basic thing together so now that I have both wings I'm done. I went ahead and stuck them in the kiln for now. I'm just creating a small little bit of color. This is going to create the butterfly's body. And I used, let's see, I think these are two different passion colors. But I went ahead and just put a stripe or two down and then I went ahead and twisted it. And this will just create a, a little spiral on the body. Kind of pull it out and shape it how you see fit. Go back in and I round out the very top to make the little head. And now it's time to put the wings on. So we're going to take this first wing and to make sure that it melts in nice and even and we don't get a blob on the back or anything, I'm going through and heating that termination where I pulled it off of the rod. And I just use my shears to snip that right off. It's going to give you a nice flat part um, to go ahead and connect onto the body. And when you connect these, you want to make sure that both the body is pretty warm. Um, and then make sure that everything is nice and molten uh, on that edge of the butterfly wing. That way it attaches really nice. And then you just want to hit it with heat. You want to go through, um, I went ahead and made my flame a little bit sharper. That way I can get into a little more precise heating. You want to heat right on the edge where the body and the wings meet. I went ahead and fluffed my flame out a little bit. And we're going to do the same thing 
with that second wing, we went ahead and just chopped it off. Skip through that part so you won't have to watch that again. And same thing, we're going to heat the wing nice and molten, keep the body nice and warm. And then hit it real nice with some heat again right at that spot between the body and the wing. Just a slight bend in it so it's not completely flat. And we're just heating it up one more time, making sure everything is nicely melted in. And now I'm going to go ahead and pull the bottom of the body to create just a little bit of a point. pretty much it guys. Go ahead and make final adjustments and we're set. This is right after it's heated so it's still dark. This is the final thing. Thanks guys.